Apparently, food trucks are much more than a fad nowadays. In fact, they're flourishing in cities like Nashville. Well, this is the story of a food truck couple who always dreamed of their own farm to table restaurant. Well, apparently hard work pays off because now they're parked at a place called Biscuit Love in a trendy part of Nashville. If you haven't been to Nashville's Gulch recently, well, you won't recognize the place. It's become the happening hangout for trendy bars and restaurants, as well as high-rise living. Well, as you can see and probably hear, the Gulch just keeps growing. And while most people know this as a nighttime destination, well, there's a daytime attraction that's packing them in, all thanks to a love of great biscuits. This is where urban cool meets southern comfort. Food, that is. Biscuits get top billing, and they're made fresh just hours before they merge with other choice ingredients. Biscuit Love is billed as a brunch restaurant, open daily from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Carl and Sarah Worley are the owners. After attending culinary school together, then marriage, the couple decided to launch their culinary careers in a food truck but they seriously needed a niche. I wanted to do a hot chicken food truck. And uh, my wife being the smart person, we, we, we discussed it for a little while. And uh, I said, well, fine, what would you do? And I said, your biscuits. And we sort of had this aha, like Southern driven food moment. The food truck was a vehicle to get, to get my food out and to kind of show the world um, what we could do. This space came open. The right partners came open and, and everything worked out. The fried chicken biscuits are still the favorite. We do a couple different ones. We do one with uh, just regular fried chicken and uh, cheddar cheese and sausage gravy. And we do another one that's kind of a play on Nashville hot chicken. On the truck, they were our favorites. And here, even though we've added a lot more, they're still the favorite. The Whirlies put a lot of creativity and work into coming up with the right menu, the right location, and the clean, simple decor, plus the philosophy they share with their employees. Doing what you love, being passionate about it, keeping the same passion to them, and really showing what we can do and knowing that everything that goes out to the guests, it's all about pleasing them. Their food truck experience paid off in national awards and positive media attention. But more importantly, it built a customer base of Biscuit Love lovers. One of the beautiful things about this is that, you know, we had a built-in customer base that followed us all around town, and now they know where to find us seven days a week. So it's great because we see so many familiar faces in and out of here, you know, that were our food truck fans that are now just like our regular customers. If you see a long line upon arrival, don't despair. Carl has adapted an ordering, paying, and serving style known as fast casual. You decide what you want, pay it first, and then uh, that way when you're done, you're done. You can get up and leave uh, if you want to hang out, but you can get up whenever you want to. You're not tied to somebody dictating when you can leave. The place continually draws new customers from places beyond the old food truck stops and no doubt many are soon to be regulars. I would never had hot chicken, it was my first time doing that and it was it was great, the, the biscuit, the, the donuts, they, they were wonderful, wonderful. It was really good, it's been recommended by a ton of people, so I really enjoyed it. Delicious, very good, very tasty, perfect. The Bloody Marys are probably the best I've ever had. Here's an interesting aside, even though the Gulch has been a booming, lively locale for years now, it's still uncharted territory for even some locals. My favorite are the phone calls where people say, now I've never heard of the Gulch, where is the Gulch? And I'll say, well, it's um, like south of Broadway on 12th Avenue, and they're like, that's nothing but a parking lot down there. But I mean, we really are in the heart of Nashville, and it's just, it's so great. It's been so great being here. Well, oh, there's another Whirly family member that plays a major role here, Carl and Sarah's daughter, Gertie. She's good with the customers. Can you try the biscuit? I haven't tried the biscuit. And uh, testing the menu items. It may seem like the Whirlies found instant success with Biscuit Love here in the Gulch, and in a way they did. However, that success took an extra serving of talent, hard work, and commitment 
to making their brunch the best of the bunch. Unfortunately, my brain goes un all the time, and so we're, we're constantly looking at things that we can do different and things we can, improvements we can make. I wanted to feel like home. I wanted to feel like you're coming. It's brunch, so I feel like it's supposed to be this very comfortable, relaxed dining experience.